What's up guys, welcome back to PME's channel and today we'll be creating the cauldron and blender and we'll also be adding a fluid simulation into it. And we will be using some colouring and some colour changing. We'll be using some animation, we'll be adding wands, we'll be using ingredients to show the flow of the water and we will also be adding edit mode to make sure that it is all precise we'll also be adding a liquid simulation in physics so if you haven't used that before make sure to watch this video so once i have baked this i have the final product if we just play the final product we can see that these are in flowing so they will continually flow and this wand is moving around the cauldron um, you can't actually see the cauldron as it is but you could duplicate the cauldron if you wanted to and then remove this fluid simulation so please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it make sure to comment down below if you are confused by anything you or I have done so thanks for watching guys <laughs>
So shift add, and let's add a UV sphere. GZ to get up here, you may want it a bit higher and scale it up. There we go. You may want to scale it even more because it will be pretty high. Then press shift to get precise on the moving. So let's go into there, forward slash on the keypad, tab. If you want to see straight through, make sure you have this on. And then we can go in here, take off this, delete vertices. And then we have this sort of cauldron in here. Get rid of that and then tab. So I have this cauldron here. You may want to add some base and I'm going to quickly do that if you want to follow along. So to get this, we just need to shift and select these. You can also just mouse select it. Or if you wanted to, you can circle select and then just go around here. And that's all selected. So I'm going to extrude this from the bottom. And scale it out more. I want it to have this line here so that it will balance on it. If you don't want it, delete that and then fill it in with a face and you may want to fill this bottom bit in here. So I'm going to move away and go back into select box, select these and fill with F and then move away and we have this cauldron ready to start. You can also keep it moving these and scaling them up and you may want to do that if you like the look of it but right now i'm just going to keep it how it is we gz move it up to the top there we go and we can see if we come out of forward slash and then unhide these that's sort of looking like a wand and that's the cauldron so we can see where it's getting now and if we just rename these, um, if we rename this as a wand. So we can start on this, but I'm going to quickly finish these ingredients. Hide this cauldron and the wand. Then we can go into this monkey. We could start editing and then maybe create some sort of potion idea. But we could just delete it too and these physics um, and fluid properties will be easy to recreate. If we bring back this cauldron, and then just forward slash, so it's just the cauldron, we need to add these fluids, simulation, and physics onto it. But if we do domain, we can change this to liquid. We could change this up to 65 or 64 if we wanted to. It may take a while for our computer to render it though. So I'm just going to go on 15 so that it will be easy to render. You can see there's a small box here, but when you actually render, you won't see it. Oh, it's all slashed out. So if we come over to here and then come up here, make sure mesh is clipped. And you can change these around and mess around them as well, because I always say that Blender is full of surprises, so you may want to try and mess around with them and see what you can create. If we see here, we can move this to modular, or we can move it to all and just bake everything. So I'm going to make this end frame end at about 150, because I think that will be enough time to make the ingredients going and such as. If we come up here, that means it will bake all through here and then stop about here. See, it, the cube leaves as we move across. So we can start baking that. And you can see there's nothing there as it looks. We come out of forward slash though. We can see that this is happening. Filling the cauldron. 
and it's just staying there for a while, sort of moving around. So if we can load it here, we can have flow, liquid, and then geometry. So if we move this up a bit, and we haven't baked it yet, so we can still see that it will, it will start here. Because we haven't baked the cauldron as it was. So if we delete that, shift add, then let's go for a cone. Let's just do some editing on that before we start, and then we can put it in as an ingredient and create a fluid. So just click fluid here, then flow. Let's change it to liquid, leave it geometry, and that's all we have to do. So if we come up here, we want to move it up. Okay, then we may start editing. So with this, you may want to rotate it by like 100 degrees on the X axis so that you can make sort of a, a shape of a potion. And I will get a reference image so we can create it. We could also create it with a Bezier K instead, but you, you don't have to do that necessarily because it may be easier just to use edit mode. So if you haven't um, changed your preferences so that you can import an image just plain, go on to add-ons and just search image. And you can see import image as planes and just tick that box. And then you'll get this symbol here as a whiter, brighter here. And then if you close it, you can see that if you shift add, go into image. So this is also a physics property here. It's a liquid and we have created this monkey as a flow. So the water will flow out of this monkey and into this square. But we put onto this square as a domain. So it will scale up a bit, and then we can see the image I've chosen. Now you can probably see that this doesn't look anything like it. So we may want to instead add a sphere, because they may be more similar to what we are creating now. So if we go into here, we can move down here, and oh, one thing. We can actually can do in front so that if we move around we'll be able to see it in front you can also move this one and then change it to in front if we wanted to but it's not really going to help with what we want so if we come into here and we can see the bottom is very similar shaped to what we have here and if we go into edit mode we can see if we come up here, we can actually go for circle select again and just select all of these. Make sure to hold shift when you select them, or if you let go, hold shift, select them again, that you don't miss out on any vertices that you wanted to use. Because otherwise, you can end up not having the vertice in your where there we go so i'm just going to extrude this yeah and then i am actually going to take off the top so that we so that it will be um, thinner and it will be exact and flat. So if we delete vertices, you can see our bits in the way and we have a huge hole in our blender. But if we come up here, we can extrude again, maybe scale it out a bit more if we wanted to. Oh, 
if you ever get stuck on something, make sure to press I. And now if we go into here, and out of edit mode, it looks like this potion that you can create. I'm going to delete this green, um, this green carting potion bottle. And if we click X, then we can see it here. So if we come out there, see the cauldron from up here. You can also see that we don't really use and see the actual cauldron. We just see it as a domain. So if you wanted you to, you can shift add. Uh, shift and duplicate, and then there will be two. You just click where it is, and then if you go into part, uh, physics, you can just delete that fluid simulation, and then there will be two, one with a fluid, one without. This potion bottle, we can then add a fluid for, and it will be a flow. Liquid, there we go. So if we just rotate it a bit, on the Y, we can move this round here. If we just do shift Y, we can move it all around here and it won't go back. So just move it here. Um, the wand is hidden, so if we undo that wand. So we can start animating this and creating everything we want to. And maybe even chucking in some potions and stuff like that. But before we do, we want to move this camera so that we can see exactly what we're looking at. And then the potions or different objects that may be created when we use this. So moving it around now, if we move ca camera lens angle, you can see here everything in the camera frame a bit down maybe, or to the left or right. There we go. We have everything in camera roll. If we go into camera, go up into here, we can see the lights just in this area. Now you may want a light in your liquid so that people can see the liquid as you use it and you 3D model it. But you may want it to show the potions and the ones that you've created. And then, so I'm going to put them in here, shift add, shift duplicate, sorry, and just duplicate a few more so I can move them around. Click X and then move them to a side. Behind the camera you probably want one. There we go. Now if we go into the camera, we can see, oh, bright light in the cauldron, the potion, the wand, and now we can start animating. So just click what we want to use, and then forward slash, move into this. So if you can't see this at the top, it is called the viewport shading. Just click at the top, it's a white sphere, but white, and it will be, it will we can use it if we want to see an object without the lights and the camera instead. We can, obviously we can click the camera even though it's hidden, but we probably won't use that since we're animating. So from the start we can see not much is happening, in fact nothing's really happening. That has a fluid simulation, that doesn't, but the other one does. If we click on here. If we come down here, however, it says oh, bake all. Um, we haven't baked anything since this has a fluid fluid simulation, but it hasn't been baked with this cauldron. If we shift at a uh, shift duplicate this potion we can actually start to create different potions coming in. So I'm going to move this to shift Y. Maybe rotate it so it looks like it's pouring in. Shift Y. Move it there. And then I'm going to rotate this one. Yes. And maybe shift duplicate that. Move into here. 
and rotate it on the z axis by 180 degrees so that it will move in. So three potions will come in here. They all have a fluid simulation to drop. And you can see that they'll probably, some will fall out. And you may want that in your potions simulation and your cauldron. The ground from where it was. And if we go into the camera view, you can see it moving around the cauldron. It does come out of camera view sometimes, but we can move that around camera view if we decide to, so that we do get the wand in. If we come down here, we can see that it circles around, and that's what we want. Now we want to go on to here and bake all. So it may take a while to bake. Mine hasn't taken a while. So if I come in here, as you can see, nothing's really happening. So if we just come out of forward slash, you can see these aren't actually moving in. And it is because if we go into this see here, quickly free all. If we move down, we can decide to put it into modular, all, all, and I'm just using all because it will be easier for me to use. I'm also going to be changing this up to about 64, and actually 32, so that we can use it more often. And then with this, these, I will be moving this to about 12. If we come on try, move it here, in the beginning. See the ones just dancing around, so we need to bake all. So it's slowly baking everything, it's taking a while, and once it's done, we can see the render. So I'm just baking my um my physics. As you can see here, I've put type on all and is a baking all press escape it pause, but I'm going to continue to let it bake because if you put escape there is a slight chance that it will be cancelled and you won't see the physic that you have created. So once this is done, then you can be able to see the liquid simulation. What well, I just finished playing around in Blender and using different properties of the fluid simulation. If we go into this viewport shading um, so that we can see exactly what we're looking at, we can see we don't really see in the camera what we want to. And if we move back a bit, add and this this will make it so that we are able to x-ray and see inside of something sort of transparent you can see this is just above it so we want to move that down so that it will go into the fluid simulation if we move this down so if we come down here and then we free all we can quickly bake all and then we'll be able to see how it will work and see our animation later. I also had to reanimate the wand because it wasn't actually in our object constraint constra constraints because it wasn't available and it was actually deleted during part of the process. You probably still have yours, so make sure to keep that and don't delete it like I did. And make sure that you have all of them inside your larger object, otherwise they won't be able to go down or into your object as you include the particle edits. So I'll come back when this is fully rendered. Okay, so it's just been finished rendering. And if we come up here, just... 
they but you can see that they move down and this wand is actually moving across as it does and moves around with it they're sort of in colliding with each other and the liquid they've created you can see this is also a box that's because I added a box domain instead of our cylinder and our cauldron that we decided to create because with the cube they'll interact better with each other so keep in, that ma keep in mind that when you start creating I may change around this camera view as we do it 